the Big Mac. Can I make it look better than the advert? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. I've got my little diagram here. I've got my list of ingredients. Don't know what can go wrong. So first things first, we need to make an awesome burger bun. It has to have sesame seeds on the top. It has to be a decent size. Let's make burger buns. And I think I've got the perfect recipe. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add 500 grams of bread flour into a mixing bowl with seven grams of fast action yeast, 30 grams of caster sugar, 10 grams of salt, and 25 grams of melted butter. And then we're gonna add in 300 mils of tepid milk and mix it until it forms a nice silky smooth dough. Now I'm gonna use my stand mixer for this with the dough hook, but you can of course mix it by hand, turn it out onto a work surface and knead it until it's silky smooth. Next, turn the dough onto the work surface, form it into a nice tight ball and place it back into the mixing bowl. We're gonna cover that with a lightly damp cloth and leave it to prove for one hour in a warm place or until it's doubled in size. While the dough's proven, we're gonna make my version of the super duper special Big Mac sauce. So into a bowl, place 120 grams of mayonnaise, one tablespoon of finely diced sweet onion, 40 grams of ketchup, 10 grams of yellow mustard, five grams of white distilled vinegar, one dill pickle, finely grated on a microplane, five grams of caster sugar, one gram of paprika, a pinch of salt, half a teaspoon of garlic powder and half a teaspoon of onion powder. And then we're gonna mix them all together until they're nice and combined. This sauce actually smells like a Big Mac already. Sauce complete, cover it and leave it in the fridge for later. We're gonna turn the dough onto a workbench and knock all of the air out of it. Once we've done that, we'll divide the dough into six equal sized pieces and then we're gonna shape them into balls. Then we're gonna take a rolling pin and roll them out until they're about one and a half centimeters in thickness. We'll place them onto a lined baking tray, cover them with a damp cloth and leave them to prove for a further 30 minutes. So while the burger buns prove for the second time, it's the perfect opportunity to prepare the garnish for the burgers. For that, we need a finely diced one sweet onion and season with salt to draw out the bitterness. Shred up half a lettuce and then squeeze a little bit of lemon juice over and then make sure we've got our sliced cheese ready and slice two to three dill pickles. After 30 minutes, we'll crack an egg into a bowl and we'll beat it until it forms bubbles on the top. Then we'll brush it over all of these burger buns and sprinkle with sesame seeds. Bake in a preheated oven at 180 degrees C for 20 to 25 minutes. Leave the burger buns to cool. For the burgers, get the best quality ground beef mince you can get. And with a reasonably high fat content, mine's 15% fat. And then we're gonna roll them into 150 gram balls. Next, we'll place a frying pan over a high heat and get the pan as hot as you can get it. Place the balls into the pan and press them down as flat as you can with a spatula. We're then gonna season with salt and pepper and cook for one to two minutes on each side. Okay, so we're almost at the good bit where we put the Big Mac together, but before we do, we need to toast the buns. So for this, we need to take two bread buns. One of them, we just cut in half. The other one, we need to cut out the center section. This is gonna go in the middle of the Big Mac. And then we're gonna place a frying pan back over the stove over medium heat, add in a little bit of butter, and then toast the bread buns until golden. Right, now it's time for the good part. We're going to assemble the Big Mac. And for this, I need to refer back to my trusty little diagram here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place a bread bun on the bottom and follow that up with some of the diced onions. Then we're gonna place on some iceberg lettuce, followed by some cheese, and then we're gonna melt that slightly using a blowtorch, or you can put it under the grill or even in the oven just for a couple of seconds to soften it. Then we're gonna add a beef patty on top of that, some of the Big Mac sauce on top of that, then the middle bun, then some more special sauce, 
then more iceberg lettuce, a few pickles, another beef patty, more cheese, and then the top of the bun. And then we'll see what we've got. So there it is, that's my version of the McDonald's Big Mac. I'm not sure if it looks better than the picture, but I know that it'll taste better than the real thing. That's for sure. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more stuff like this, then please do let me know. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. That's a Big Mac.